Hey friends, welcome to a new YouTube video. This is a crash course on how to fetch display data from an API inside of your React application. So at first we need to create a new React application. For that we are running following command create React app and give it a name. I will call it fetch data and hit enter. So this installation step will take a second. Let me skip the part for you. Okay, once the installation is done, we can cd into our project directory and install a, another module which is called Axios. This module will perform our HTTP GET request. So run yarn add Axios and hit enter. Great, after this installation, we are ready to jump into our favorite text editor. So here inside of your project, inside of the source directory, open up app.js and let's remove that stuff that we don't need here. And at the very top of this file, we can now import Axios, which we just installed. And we're also going to import the use state and the use effect hook from React. So in this example, we will be fetching data from a JSON placeholder uh, endpoint. So this one delivers us 100 different blog posts, which contain a user ID, a ID, a title, and a body. So let's copy that URL. And the next thing I want to create is a state variable for our posts. So let's call it posts. We use the state hook, the use state hook, and set it initially to an empty array. And we can create our fetch function. Let's call it fetch data. This one needs to be async. And here inside of it, we're gonna destructure the response object. And we call await axios.get. And here we can pass the API URL. And once this response is done, we can set posts to whatever inside of data is. And now we need to call our fetch data function. For that, we're going to use the this effect hook. We need to set an empty dependency array, so this function will be only called once, and then we can simply call fetch data in here. So this will perform the get request and save it to our post variable. And once this is done, we are ready to display the data here inside of app. And therefore, we are going to iterate over the posts array. Let's say posts.map. And for each post, we're going to return a div. This div needs a key, which will be the post ID. And here inside of it, we will be displaying a headline, which will be the post title. And we're also going to return the post body. And now our application is ready. All we got to do now is to open up a terminal and run yarn start to start the web development server and once this will open up the application in the browser and we then should be able to see our blog posts displayed in our application that's it i mean there's not that much styling but these are 100 blog posts which we fetch from our api and this is how to fetch and display data in react I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button and so on.